Yo, my people, the CFC, Realist Blue, back with another video, and this is the review for the Chelsea vs Leicester game, in which we won 4-2, as you can see, goals from Mark Kukureo, Cold Palmer, Carney Chakuri Mecca, and No Knee Madweki secure our place in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, and we are going to Wembley. You guys, if you're as excited as I am, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from me, and I'm going to try to break down the game as best as possible, going through all the key points that I think are relevant. If you guys think I miss anything, let me know down below. But we're going to start off with the team news, and in goal, we had Robert Sanchez. Right back was Malo Gusto. Centre backs was Axel de Sassi and Trevor Chalobah. Left back was Mark Kukureo. Defence in midfield, Enzo was suspended, so we had to go with we had to go with Moises Caicedo as well as Conor Gallagher. Then on the left, we had Mikhailo Mudrik. On the right, I believe we had um. Raheem Sterling, Cam, Cold Palmer, striker, Nicholas Jackson. I don't agree with Sanchez, and I don't agree with Sterling starting. I was not happy with that. Everything else, I'm fine with. But now we go into the game. And we take the lead 13 minutes in. Man like Cold Palmer sends Jackson on a quick counter-attack. He goes past um, the Leicester left back and passes it to Kukureo. Empty net. 1-0 Chelsea, easy as you like, easy as you like, and we were turning on, we were turning up, the first 25 minutes, we should have had at least three goals, should have had at least three goals, but then we turn our attentions to a man like Raheem Sterling, who luckily won us a penalty, but then after, bearing in mind Cole Palmer picked up the ball, Sterling's asking for it, begging for it, and he gets the penalty. What happens? He misses. And if you see the pen, rubbish penalty. Go check out my Instagram if you want to see it, or check out my Snapchat at CFC underscore race blue if you want to see that. But damn, bro, rubbish penalty. Rubbish. But then he gets live. He gets live. Why? Because he assists Cole Palmer. And Cole Palmer ends up scoring. That is now his 25th goal involvement. For Chelsea in all competitions, that goal there, that was that what that was, and not to mention Raheem Sterling missed another sitter, missed another sitter. How? Because he's rubbish. He is not cut out to be a starter for Chelsea. I'd be real. He needs to get sold ASAP. I will personally go halves with anyone that wants to do that as well. But I be honest, man, this was so appalling. That miss one on one. You are not a finisher. You are not a goal scorer. Why are we paying you 350k a week? It's an absolute shambles. He needs to get sold ASAP. He should not be here come the end of the season. He shouldn't be here. Should have. But yeah, man. Half time, we're going 2 0 up. I'm there thinking that, yep, semi finals secured. You don't have to worry about Leicester. Even if they do score, they'll only score one goal, which was my prediction a 3 1 score prediction. But then look, then look, how does Axel de Sassi do such a thing? Not even long after the second half has started, we scored an own goal. And you would have thought that de Sassi was playing against us. The way he put it into the back of the net. Why are you doing it like that, bro? Why are you doing it like that? I don't understand. This is the reason why. Like, our defence is so poor. I can never count on us to keep a clean sheet. I can't count on it. Even if we're comfortable, we will just do something dumb like that. Putting the ball into the net. So far out. Like, it's so dumb. And if you want to see the highlights or anything like that, check out my story on Snapchat or on Instagram. Feel free. But damn, bro. Like, him doing that, just dead. Dead. But then, not only that, Leicester moving better in the second half. And they get a second goal. David Mavidi, he packed. He packed. Can't say anything really. He packed Sanchez. He was on the left hand side. Young step over. Boom. 
couldn't do anything about it. And 2-2, two, two, we was absolutely finished at this point because we're thinking the worst. I'm there thinking that we're going to go into extra time. I'm not thinking we're going to lose. But damn, bro, the fact that we threw away a two-goal lead. Shambles. And it's all down to us as well. Like, it's a shambles, man. And then, turning point in the game. Leicester get a red card. Nicholas Jackson spins a man, goes one-on-one, -on -one, clear through. And at first, I thought it was a penalty, but it wasn't. The man got a yellow card to begin with because he thought it was a pen. The referee did, but then the VAR checked. They said it weren't a pen, but because he was a last man, it was a red card. Clear goal scoring opportunity, and Leicester go down to 10 men. And from then, like, things start to change. Leicester are still on the attack, but we are creating more. Malo Gusto doing his thing down the right-hand side as well. Big him up because he was doing a madness. He was doing a madness still. But before we even get to the second goals and the, the, the last two goals, we have to talk about Pochettino and your damn substitutions. Why are you taking off Mudrick before Raheem Sterling? That is my big question. My big question. The host of Stamford Bridge was booing, man. Booing, man. Because why are you taking off Mudrick? How can Mudrick not play 90 minutes? That's what I want to know. Why can't he play 90 minutes? Why? Why can't he do that? It's a shambles, man. But eventually, like, he came off for Carlin Shakuri Mecca, big him up. But then Raheem Sterling eventually comes off for Noni Madweki. And here, this is when the game changes. Leicester don't have no more creative opportunities. They don't go through on goal. They're not doing none of that. We are on the counter-attack. We are score. We are trying to score. We are trying to score. Carly Shakuri Mecca had a shot saved. Malo Gusto with a good ball. But then, eventually, a 1-2 happens with Carney, Cole Palmer. 1-2, Cole Palmer with the flick as well. Sweet little flick. Cold with it. That is a now 26 goal involvements for him in all comps for us. And Carlin Shakri Mecca with his second goal for Chelsea this season after scoring against West Ham earlier in the season. I'm so happy for you, Carney, because you deserve it. You need more game time as well. I can't wait to see you just play more consistently. Big you up for scoring that goal and helping us go through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. But then when you think that it's about to be finished, Noni Madweki gets the ball from Gusto. Takes on two, three, man. Boom! Top bins. People try to say, oh, that Mavidi, Mavidi goal. Da -da 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 -da. Look at Noni Madweki's goal. Look at Noni Madweki's goal. Bad man goal. He's so cold. And this is why he's in my preferred XI and not Raheem Sterling. Not Raheem Sterling. So for me, I'm happy that we got the win, but we, we saved it too late. And I'm here praying to us right now that we get Coventry in the next round. Because anyhow, we get a Liverpool or a Man City who are most likely going to go through to the semi-finals, then it could be absolutely long for us. I'm not feeling optimistic if we get any of those two teams. I'd be real to you. Because our defence is bad. And after the game today at Stamford Bridge, where we're meant to be so good, fair enough, we scored the goals. But when we go to away to Wembley, when we go away and play in big pitches, we don't handle it well. We don't. And we need to. We have to. So for me, I really hope that the team do their thing. It's international break now. The guys go away. Hopefully no one comes back with an injury. But I'm just happy that we got the W. Because if we didn't, all hell would have broken loose. And that's not good for us. But big up to the man them who scored. Big up to everyone who got the assist. You man done so well. And now we're through to the semi-finals. This is the most important thing, regardless of how we got there. It's the most important thing. We need to try and win this competition. We have to. We have to. But I'm not that optimistic. I'll be so honest with you. I'm not that optimistic. Hopefully, I'm proved wrong. Nonetheless, though, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Riddis Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Wembley, we will see you soon. We will see you soon.